My name is uh, Engineer Babide Kaga. I'm, uh, I've got a master's in civil engineering as well as a bachelor's degree. I'm working with CAT Consult in Uganda as a director, uh, top management, but I also run a company in South Africa and it's called CAD by Consulting Engineers. So I've been running it for about five years and uh, in Uganda, I've been in Uganda for about two years now, coming to three years. I come from an engineering family, so my, um, my mother's father was an engineer, my grandfather. My father's an engineer, and um, I'm a twin. My twin brother's an engineer. So, um, more or less, <laughs> I was surrounded by engineers, and uh, for some reason, you adore the people that surround you. So, um, yes, so, and I was good at maths. And, uh, yeah, so that's how I ventured into engineering. And um, you know how girls look at their fathers like their idols, and yes, so I thought what my father did was great, and I, do, I wanted to be him. Uh, my particular field in engineering is um, as a civil engineer, you deal with water, you deal with structures, um, you deal with water supply, sanitation, oil and gas, and you always see uh, projects which start from nothing, and they actually, you actually see something come to life. And uh, uh, you don't actually, as an engineer, you don't have to be best in the office. You travel all around the world. You're either on site or in the office. So it's very flexible. So I thought it was a brilliant um, discipline to actually venture into. In the field, I think it's exciting. Uh, most people will tell you it's a male dominated industry and uh, Everyone will get very scared, but sometimes you, you're one of the boys. So um, you don't really want to think you're a girl, though I'm such a girl. Um, so I, whenever I go into meetings, they always think I'm the secretary. And, <laughs> and they always ask you to take minutes. But when they find you're the engineer, then they get very scared and they don't even know what to do. Um, but I haven't, uh, I haven't experienced a lot of challenges. The only thing that you need to work twice as good as uh, yes to actually acquire the acknowledgement or the respect. In Uganda, if somebody ever asked you, um, do you know female engineers? You could mention a few, about four or five. So um, I was actually approached by Dr. Dorothy and it was uh, an honor to actually be part of it. And I wanted to, to actually not become the face of engineering, but also give confidence to the young engineers that are still in school, because I believe there are not many of us. But after joining the WED committee, it was uh, an eye-opener and very interesting that um, actually were many of us. Surprise, I got registered in 2009. Yes, during my registration, I was based on a construction site, mm -hmm. and it was about 250 kilometers from uh, where I stayed in Pretoria. So um, it was very challenging because the only people I could talk to were Chinese contractors. Mm -hmm. And therefore, in the evening, rather than sit and have a chat, I could actually put in some time to prepare my reports, and uh, actually read more about the industry. So um, I was there for two years there. So the registration process with the Engineering Council of South Africa is difficult because you need to write essays and the essays are chosen by the mentors, which is not the case in Uganda. And uh, the evaluation takes a whole day. And uh, presentations, you don't have to present it to a group of people around the table, no. You actually go on, a, on like a platform and it's like you're talking for a big audience. And yeah, so it, it, it was grilling, uh, very nerve wracking, but um, yeah, got over it. The challenge is really is more or less not getting um, a tender or a proposal and after chasing it for a very long time 
and after planning behind that proposal or that tender or actually to run a business in a foreign country because I fly in and out therefore you don't have people on the ground and uh, management becomes a challenge and uh, projects are always taken off um, off the table as soon as they know you've got them before you know it you don't have it so those are the challenges you actually face as a female because everyone will be like can she do it and the, the person who's on the other side is a male so they sometimes will give it to a male. Having my own company and um, having a couple of very good projects that have come into the pipeline. Um, I've always set goals and uh, some of my goals have come true with regard to how much is, and how much money I'm bringing in and uh, the operation of the entity and also operating uh, in the company in Uganda, which is CAT Consult. Right now, um, female engineers are being assisted a lot. Our government has given us great opportunities. The world has given us great opportunities. No one looks at us as um, strange mothers who've actually left their children at home. So ladies, we must actually make our dream come true. Um, if you want something bad enough, you can actually get it. You've got the support from WET, you've got the support from UIPE, the government, the Royal Academy, this is the time to actually make it happen.